Welcome back to Dank and Drop Yeah. A refrigerator? I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. <laughs> After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick bleak. Oh, fruit punch! I got some Sunny D. There's a bunch of blood packets in here for blood transfusions, I guess. You know, like in normal high schools where they have <laughs> donor blood on hand for transfusions. It doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Hey, Celeste, you <laughs> yeah. want some of these? Nice. Oh, oh my gosh, they're not dead. They're just covered in donor blood. I had a theory, but I guess that wasn't part of the investigation. So never mind. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body, but left the weapon behind. Alright, uh, blood. Yeah, isn't there something over? Oh, apparently not. Uh, uh, no, blood isn't a thing? No. I guess there isn't anything else in here. Yeah, we're... Hmm. Alrighty then. Let's just, uh... I, uh, yeah, I... Oh, okay, there, there we go. Are. So, this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I need to confess something to you. I, listen, I, I like girls by Kyuya. I wanted to, I just, I just <laughs> wanted to thank you for what you did. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Not, not that you meant to, but you ended up making my life have meaning again. And, uh... This I little don't... game of ours is very interesting indeed. Uh, um... I love you. Uh... You should go to Hero's room with me. What? Uh... Oh, and let me give you this. <laughs> okay. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. Just like Chihiro. What, what is? Chihiro. <laughs> Things are growing more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice! Wait, so... I don't know how this is a clue. Yeah, I don't know what the... Because doesn't that make Hiro look even more suspicious? Because it's him trying to get us to all go to a different place. Yeah. Um, so he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? Alright. Wait, I so guess... does he want us to go to the dining hall, or was it just given that to us? I think he was just giving it to us. Okay. Down here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think it's behind you. Oh, that was mine. Alright. I'll see. Uh, here. which one's Hero? Uh, boy. Um, R rest in peace. Yeah, poor Sayaka. Oh, uh, poor Junko. Uh, she didn't even one? get to do anything. Yeah, but Celeste. Is he the last one? I think he might be the last one. Dang. Yeah, oh, and... Ripley on. Oh, okay. There we go. There he is. The door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. I Kyuya did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. Right into the hammer. Wow. Why does he get a nice decorated room? Why, why does everyone get a decorated room except us? Well, because we're average. Boring. Uh, All our uh, hobbies are totally normal. That's right. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where do you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? <laughs> Alrighty, uh... Let's yeah, that's, how police, that's also how the police work. If you're not home, they can just go in. Yeah. I think there's something in the cardboard box. Oh. That's... That's suspicious. Yeah. So, uh, that's... It's blueprints for something. Something. And... Some things made out of... It looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room? But wait. These blueprints. Something about them bothers That's me. That's not his handwriting. Ew. He's being set up, Tanner. Ew. But by who? Ew. Hmm. Oh, come at me, frog here. This is Makoto's new voice. <laughs> Why are there so many songs about rainbows? <laughs> All 
Alrighty, let's, uh, let's check. Let's look in his bathroom. <laughs> it's a normal bed, pretty much just like the one in my room. Neato. Let's go in his bathroom. I soundlessly checked the bathroom. I don't know why I was being so quiet about it. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy, though. Ugh, it's like... Ugh, is that a Nirvana t-shirt being used as a towel? How does a bathroom even get this dirty? We're getting a lots of nice lore about Hero. Okay, it looks like there is, wasn't actually much in his room, yeah. so... A surveillance, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well... Wait, there's something way over... Even for oh, it's just the door. Oh. Yeah, I thought that. Too. I guess that's it. I'm assuming someone will run into us once we exit the door. Yeah. I can't want to leave the area. I can. <gasps> Makoto! Big news! Big news! Is it your boobs? I mean, uh. What's wrong? Science just announced Donut 2.0! We found Kyoko! What? I is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Oh my gosh. Just a second. Robo Justice showed up too. Oh, Robo Justice? It's here away in the costume. That's very oh. suspicious. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. I thought the pool was on. No, okay. Not safe. Wait. What kind of a school puts a pool on a second floor? I mean, it would make more sense for ground floor, but uh, they want it to seem more elite, you know? I guess. They're like. Pfft. We have all the money we need. Let's just throw it at this up pool. Up pool. <laughs> Here's the up pool. To think Hiro and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. There's so much running in this investigation. And here we are. Wow. The magical up pool. Hey there, oh, friends. There he is. Kyoko and I mean yeah. man, I have the, had the worst day. Uh, hero? I mean I guess let's talk to him first. Yeah. Um, hero? Huh? <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, Makoto. duh. Who else would I be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? What? Why do I look like this? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? Uh. Okay. I don't agree. I guess let's talk to Kyoko. Right. I found Hiro. He was jammed into the pool locker room. <laughs> it looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean. I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like, I don't know. Press my face or something. What? That's creepy. Face tanner down. <laughs> anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. Okay, I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. No! I'm the spy, more importantly. She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people thinks she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up and then here I was. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume, it pains me just to look at you. But I can't actually get it off. I'm a little help. Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this freaking thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> oh, free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Wait, hold on, hold on a sec. Honestly. 
Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. I don't like when she does that pose. That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone. That's terrible. Was Hero! Shall we tie him up and gag him? Maybe spank him a little? Good idea. Let's give him a good whack. <laughs> we won't want him to kill go kill on anyone else. To tie me up. But oh, hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You can't talk your way out of this one. It's been decided. You killed them. What? Kill who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the one who was wearing the costume. It's not even close to what she you're said. You're the only one who can wear this costume. So, who else could possibly be the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself. Before you convict me. Okay. Fine. If you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit. Sh shouldn't it be a beat? Yeah. Should be. Wow. Translation error. What a bunch of lazy developers. He. Oh boy. Oh wow. I almost gave myself a <laughs> jaw cramp doing that face. <laughs> Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume, and we're gonna see. Oh. Huh. See, look. See how we're gonna keep staring at. Owie's thick thighs in the next episode. Bye-bye.